there, it's married to the KGB, how are you doing? Uh, I've decided to come to London for a work exercise, um, so in the meanwhile I'll have a little walk around Soho, park the car just outside the congestion zone, and I'll have a little walk around for my essential exercise whilst I'm at work. <laughs> Join me as I, as I tour the streets of Soho. Very quiet. Might get a cup of tea in a minute from there. Obviously uh, the uh, restaurants, pubs, cafes are closed. Only for takeaway beverages and, and food. This is pretty much a gay area. This is called the Old Compton Street. Hence the rainbow flags and what have you. But a good area for coming out and having a, a drink and something to eat when we're not in lockdown, obviously. Good, en good energy about the place. I've always enjoyed the energy. These are new. I don't know what they are and what they are meant to achieve. These barriers or ramps. I saw you seen them before. And then we got Chinatown. <coughs> Down here. Crowd guard. Protecting crowded spaces. So therefore, this must be to separate the people so we're not all standing too close together perhaps not sure why oh god It's quiet really compared to what it usually is because we are in, still in lockdown and uh, as we go down here we have what the infamous massage booths not so much a gay area anymore and this is where you get the con artist girls that used to stand out there and try to beckon you in for a massage and when you go down there allegedly um, they'll ask you would you like a drink oh, I'll have a Diet Coke please and that'll be 30, 50, 500, 800 pounds and then a couple of burly men will come out and not let you leave until, or they'll escort you to the cash point until you pay up <laughs> I did get stung once in the days back in the day it was the uh, probably mid 90s there was some quite a nice looking Eastern European woman on the door and uh, oh that's all right I'll have a I'll have a look at this it's a, uh, a dance show I thought it was like maybe it's gonna be like Las Vegas went down there to some dingy uh, downstairs uh, lit room and uh, this hostess, who I didn't even really like the look of, to be honest with you, she came and sat down next to me, asked me would I like a drink, I said, yeah, I'll have a Coke, and uh, wasn't even interested in her, really, if I'm honest, because she wasn't anything special to look at. Never saw any strip, strip tees or anything like that at all. 
and, and then they come out with a bill. And it was like, I think they wanted, I wasn't hit, they didn't pitch me too bad compared to some people. I think it was about £30, but that's a lot of money for a Diet Coke for their, being there for like all of two minutes. And uh, a big East End sort of um, mama came up and, and uh, I went to walk past her to sort of, you know, to try and get out. I said, I refuse to pay that bill. And she said, no, you're not going to push past a pregnant woman. Uh, in the end, they kind of let me go. I can't remember if I ever paid them. I think I paid them like a small amount, maybe a tenner, and put it down to experience not to go there again. And uh, they let me go and they said, they said, come back and pay your bills. After. <laughs> uh. But you hear stories of uh, tourists like going in there and one Chinese guy, I think, he got stung for about £800 for a Diet Coke. And I think, phew, I got away quite lucky. I'm, I'm probably giving him a tenner or something back in those days. Building construction site there. So if you're in Soho, don't go in the uh, table dancing booths. They, uh, they are a rip-off. It's not Las Vegas. Coming into Piccadilly now. I might have a quick peep through Chinatown now. If you've said that, let's have a little look. That would be back this way. I've walked past it. Era. I used to come here in the early 90s. I used to think it was the bee's knees there. It's only a shopping arcade, nothing special really. Some of the West End shows. Le, Mir Le Miserable. Le Miserable. Don't speak French. Jamie. I've got one six. But of course they'll be closed because we are in lockdown. Let's have a look at Chinatown. As we go around the corner here. Not this one, the next one. Oh look, the famous Raymond Revenue Bar review bar. Hair loss. Maybe that's why. <laughs> do, do you think it's a bit late? I wonder if they really work. A bit rich, really. I want to blame the Chinese for this bloody coronavirus. Here we go, Chinese town now, Wardour Street. Coming to here. I don't know if it's Chinese New Year, I've no idea when that is due, but we've got all the um, the lanterns out. Let's have a little wonder. all my 61 subscribers just in case I've got a Chinese one out there Ni Hao you never know so very nice I 
I did eat it once with my Brummy friends. Mid 90s, I think it was again. Nothing special. I wouldn't recommend it knowing what I know now. I don't think it's my friend used to clean. Elvis actually, who, who might know, is on a couple of my videos. He used to be a contractor back in the day to come and clean the air conditioning ducts and stuff all around here. He said they were filthy, filthy kitchens, rat infested, cockroach infested. And they used to sit out here early hours in the morning after their tea break, because he did this at night time. And he still said he used to watch the rats scurry out from one door to another. He even claimed he saw skinned cats and dogs in the freezer in one of the kitchens and stuff. It wouldn't surprise me. But just the general cleanliness of some of these kitchens, you wouldn't really want to eat in one of these. But they are doing takeaway. I promised my wife and daughter that I will just walk to Piccadilly Circus now, so I'm going to call them in a minute and show them Piccadilly. So I'm going to walk back. I'm not going to go around there. Oh, pigeons. Got a nice sunny day. Perfect for a good old walk around. Don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired of lockdown now, and I just needed a little bit of an en energy pick me up, so I thought I'd come into the t into the centre. I haven't had my COVID jab. Don't really want one but I want to be able to fly, so I think I'll have to resign myself to the fact that I'm going to have to reluctantly take this bloody Covid jab, or two of them. And I've said I would resist it before, but I want to be able to fly, fly. so uh, I will take it when, it when it comes around to be my turn. O'Neill's. My wife and I used to go in this bar a few times when it was open a few years ago. Uh, right. Yeah. Piccadilly, go this way. As we approach Leicester Square, exchange and bullion office. Wow. Yes, quite a quiet Leicester Square. Mr. 
go to a club there years ago. It was absolutely crap, if I'm honest. Overpriced tourist trap. might know this guy next to me. Ah. See him. Mr. Bean. He's boarded off over there. Charlie Chaplin over there. Guy from Singing in the Rain and Mary Poppins with the umbrella. Cycling, mate, you could do with cycling a little bit more. Shrimp Company. Piccadilly.
so I will have a little walk now down to St James's Park towards Parliament Square. to the mall, Trafalgar Square, just down there, can't be bothered to walk there.
this Switch off for a bit. Yeah. Admiralty Arch down to Buckingham Palace, Trafalgar Square. Lord Nelson on the top. of Parliament undergoing some sort of maintenance, scaffolding around it.
<laughs> Look at that, funny. Male and female. No gender bias. Crossing. But that one's got just a male. <laughs> so we've got some pedestrian crossings discriminating, others not. Interesting. Oh, and we've got children. Only children can cross here. Very confusing. Some sort of protest going on up the top by the museum, the gallery. Let's go see what they're protest protesting about this week. Asian protest about something. Oh, I think it's Burma. Burmese protesters about the political uh, coup going on in their country. The army has taken control of the government and kicked out what's her name, I forget her name. So that's what that's about, I think. So yeah, here we have these protesters speaking about the uh, coup in Burma, where the army is taking control of the government as I understand. Didn't know this was here until I got here, but that's what it's about.
Oh, let's have a little wonder. Always something going on in Leicester Square, in Trafalgar Square, sorry. I suppose one good thing about the coup in Myanmar, sorry it's not really a joke, but yeah it is a joke, they've kicked out a woman leader, so uh, you know us men are teaching them who's boss, but I will, I do wish to state I don't uh, condone the coup in any shape or form. Men should be ruling countries, not women. 